We've got a couple new things going on around the fort. It is 25th Obsidian late winter, about ready to switch over to a new year. We have all of the training dummies set up to be used. The diplomat here, the Nord diplomat that showed up, is still waiting to speak to our Baron, Jeff Major, who is apparently training somewhere around here, maybe? Yeah, he's training right here. He's with his... His baby is with him, yeah. So Jeff Major's training with the sword, a skilled swords dwarf. The Nord's probably gonna leave unhappy. Sword and baby come first. Um, let's see. Oh yeah, we have the dodging workshops going. All dwarfs of spare time are going there as well. We have a whole bunch of new, um, I guess, medical schools set up. And about six or seven new medical dwarves who have all of their other professions turned off except medical. So they're going to be spending the next year or two doing nothing but training there, learning skills, learning how to heal people. And the chief medical doctor that looks like a, I don't know, what that is. Looks like a Pac-Man ghost maybe, but he's on break. He's training all of his skills still cuz no one no one gets no one's getting hurt unfortunately. We haven't had anything thrown at us except the occasional wildlife. Right now we still have the cave crocodile and the magma man. Where are you going? Teddy as bear is trying to construct a rock throne, but he's um, apparently Deciding to run over here to get rocks. I have it all set to restricted. Oh well, we must be low on rocks. That means more adventures for the dwarves. More ways for them to get in trouble down here, finally. We have 86 um, dwarves. I think the latest addition was still Jeff's baby there. The new nobility that was born into our fort. Who knows, maybe he'll grow up to be king someday. Maybe a great legendary hero. We do have a bunch of new engravings here. Let's check them out. A detailed Diorite floor. Engraved on the floor is an image of active machines by Erdem somebody. Engraved on the floor is a well-designed image of a large gem. Engraved is a fine, risen, idemophil rendition of a masterfully designed image of thick crescents. The image is the symbol of the Fountain of Permeances. Okay. Engraved on the wall is an image of three catapult parts. We don't build catapults here. Engraved on the floor is a finely designed image of an armor stand. And engraved is a dish mob Reimblick rendition of a masterfully designed image of thick crescents. Yes, I already know that's our, our logo. The image is a symbol of the infallible towers. A well designed image of, um. Yeah. And engraved on the floor is an image of a daunting message. What's the message say? Can I examine it further? Engraved on the floor is an image of flowery arch. Rendition of a masterfully designed image of thick crescents. Symbol of... So, they've engraved in Jeff's tomb here. The symbol of our dwarven empire all over the place. That way no one can ever forget his rule and reign should other civilizations come afterwards. Oh, I'm going to let the dwarves get back to training. Eventually, we will be throwing everybody into uh, military squads. That will be coming in the next year or two as well. I have a little bit more expansion that I want to do. A little bit more military training. Um, a little bit more mining. The adamantine stack way down here. We still have more floors to go. We're down. We went through the top here, so there's the very top floor of it. We went down another floor mined this out successfully and there's no more some of you have given suggestions that we could um, well we could change years but we could bring water over here and make obsidian we might do that actually I'm not sure yet it depends how much admantium I think that we actually need versus how much we actually need charge men Strike down the turkey invaders that walk across our land. Well, there's a whole bunch of turkeys right now that... They're not even undead. They're not zombies. They're not skeletons. So I sent the top-level military out after them. We haven't had any gargoyles or any harpies for a while, it seems like. Um, I feel like their skills are getting rusty. So the least they could do is go chase down some of these, um... Some of these turkeys. Get us dinner! There's Metal Slime Hunt. 
chasing after the turkey, you're almost quick enough. He breaks off and goes after another one. Catches it and cuts its head off in one blow. Obliterates it into a pile of mishmash. You have the artifact mace, don't you? Bronze buckler, rabbit, copper high boot. Where's your weapon at? Copper short sword. Maybe you're not. No, you're not one of the leaders. I think you were one of the leaders last time, maybe. You all, all your names are the same to me. I don't know anymore. Oh well, I'm gonna let them kill the turkeys. Right now we have Spartan training going on. Everybody is um, taking their turns through the training dummies here. Let's see who it is. We have Master Fancy Pants. Dabbling Sword Swarf, he just started. Invasor, Nova Sword Swarf, you just started. Um, Dion, Adequate Sword Swarf, you've been doing it for a while. Rogue Jack, um, Nova Sword Swarf, you started. There's Mr. Insane. Dowd Pride, our Grand Treasurer, a competent Sword Swarf. You have a lot of free time. Altamara, you're a Nova Sword Swarf. Uh, we also have, let's see, our obstacle courses are being filled out right now with people practicing their dodging. Looks like our Baron is there with his son. Uh, trained dodging. Let's see. Adequate dodger. And there's a no a Nord, a noble person. A diplomat, I believe. They want to meet, but I don't care. They don't ever want to set up trade agreements if I remember, so I'm not going to waste our Baron's time. He can just sit there and continue training skill until the Nord gets angry. Let's see. Metal Slime's hunt has just drowned. Well, it's a good thing you weren't a squad leader. You must you just dodged into a pond and drowned. Oh boy. Let's see, how do we get your stuff? Because I want your armor back. Build an upward stairwell here, and a downward stairwell here. And hopefully someone will come grab your gear, because you had a full suit of copper armor and you, you died dodging from a turkey. Uh, training accidents happen. If our military can't, if our, if our doctors can't get any training, well. What do we have here? So when you get into a fight, demon rat remains. I think we only have two cats left. All the others have been struck down. Died of old age, I think. Been killed in the cavern scouting around. Connected the tunnels here. Should make for easier passage for dwarves who just want to go get something from the stockpile or drop something off. Don't think we've done any more engravings. Nothing neat anyways. And we're still just smelting bars and making armor. I ran out of copper um, copper material to smelt, and I haven't mined any more out since everyone's training right now. So they're making silver metal armor now. It'll be copper and silver, our uniforms. And we'll just let the dwarves grab pieces from that. Who's fighting? The turkey is fighting. The Nord bowman is fighting. There's a Nord bowman out there and shot a turkey. Uh... The merchants are leaving with their caravan guards. And our squad can stand down. They have no reason to kill turkeys anymore. The war bear growls, picks up a turkey corpse, and runs away. Oh yeah, and the water has finally thawed out. It is mid-spring. And we can finally start our shower up again. Yay! Start washing the blood off everything so that it trails through here. We have all types of blood. Rutherer, Blind Cave Ogre, Lost Adventurer, Puss. Everything we've ever killed. You can find its DNA smeared on our floor here. Just piles and oodles of blood. I don't think there is any... anything we can do with it, unfortunately. So, I'm gonna let the dwarfs continue to train, continue to make us cheese down here on our farm. Continue to practice their dodging skills, their sword play. I don't have any other projects planned right now, so I'm not going to be building anything off screen really. I'm not going to be mining any more adamantine. I'm just going to try to pass this year and see what the wildlife throws at us while the dwarves relax in their new, um, their new town. Min basement. Woohoo, a new 
batch of migrants have arrived. There they are, coming from the top left. It is 12th slate, mid-spring. We have 86 dwarves, and our kingdom has seen fit to send us more. Why wait to find out? Let's see. We are up to 107 now. What is that? 21 dwarves we got? Well, welcome home, brothers. I think soon, one of the things I'm going to be doing, probably put this batch of dwarves to work doing it, is building... Um, I kind of want to add rooms or something up here. Maybe another building out here. Because right now the only dwarves who are really used to the sun are the occasional ones who go outside for wood or for picking up body pieces or something and the military. I would like to get more dwarves living on the surface is what I'm trying to say. Instead of having all of them down in the caverns. See, someone brought a pet. It is a Mastiff puppy. Did anyone bring anything cool? Any firebirds? War raptors? What's this little mangy creature limping along? A stray bull calf. He's gonna be slaughtered. Someone's getting a new tunic. Oh, what? One runt, two runts, three, four. Holy shit. Half of the migrants are all runts. Worthless turn them into doctors or something. And the Gargoyle Slayer and Stalker are sparring. Is that a pet turtle? How cute. Well, I guess I'll get their skills set up. Um, we don't have enough bedrooms for anybody yet. For everybody yet. Even a bunch of the old people who've been here for quite some time are still waiting to get bedrooms. Let's see. We have the King of Croatia sleeping in the Baron's bedroom. He's dreaming of the future. Whenever he murders the Baron and takes his place. He is the heir in line besides um, the noble child. That is currently being carried around with our Baron right here. So you're third in line, King of Croatia. Even the baby will get to rule before you do. I'm sorry, that's just how it works. Somebody was throwing a tantrum earlier, but they didn't get locked up for it. They kept their cool. And unfortunately, we haven't had a chance to use the gel yet. I think I'm going to mine this out, put some more um, rooms back here. Probably not bedrooms. I'm thinking we need a, an, a large exercise area filled with training dummies, obstacle courses, swimming pools. Maybe even a danger room. I would love to set one of those up. I've never done that, but I would like to get some, uh, I guess, some superheroes trained out of that. We'll see. Currently have, like, 17 Admantian wafers, Adamantine wafers. And again, let's see, can I build a workshop for Jeff yet in his room? It has to be built in his room. I believe it will just be a regular metalsmith's forge. Nope, I don't have a fire safe anvil yet. So let's queue one of those up to be made doesn't need to be anybody special, I don't think. What's it under? Is it under furniture? Iron? No, it's under under other objects. Iron? Iron anvil. Just need one. One for Jeff. And once he's got that built in his room, we'll make a batch of coins, put them under lockdown, and take a look at them. Elins are not dangerous creatures. Flight mode. Just don't get kicked in the head. I don't know if our doctors can handle a concussion yet.